What's up guys, Sick Courage here. Today I'm bringing you guys high school stories, another episode of it. And today I'm talking about my first date. So, here we go. Um, so as you guys know, I dated this girl named Caitlin. Hopefully you all know how that ended. If not, I'm going to overview. Well, actually, I'll just talk about the date. Then I'll talk about how it ended at the end. But, uh, yeah, I don't currently go out with her. I haven't gone out with her in over a year. But... Um, yeah, so, my first date. So, there's a restaurant near us that is like 10, 15 minutes away from my house. Everybody goes there. Everybody loves it. And it's an awesome spot just to hang out because a lot of people go there. Um, so, it's called Nifty Fifties. And so, I was like, hey, you want to go bowling into Nifty Fifties? She's like, yeah, sure. So, that night... It's pouring rain outside. Um, one of the hardest rains we got in a while. And we walk into the bowling alley and we forgot there was a league. Um, now, this was a Friday night, so a lot of times there's leagues on Friday night at the bowling alley near us. So we were like, okay, what do you want to do? Because there was no lanes available. And. Um, so, I was like, what do you want to do? She's like, um, I don't know. So, we kind of just walked around outside, uh, soaking wet, and it's the middle of November. Um, so, we walked to my friend Tommy and Ross's house, which is about a mile away from the police. And we're like, yeah, uh, we're going to chill out here. Uh, we sat under their umbrella. I was very bossy. I told them to uh, get her a towel so she could sit on. Uh, sit, sit down uh, under the umbrella. So I was being a nice nice guy. Uh, I told my friends to get her a towel. They got her a towel. They didn't have a towel for me. So I just sat. I just grabbed my hoodie and sat on that. Because it was like 40 degrees out. It wasn't that cold. Um, I mean, it was. I was freezing because I was drenched in 40 degree weather. But anyway, we finally got bored of sitting there talking to them. So I was like, why don't we go walk around? So we walked to the place where I won my first soccer championship. Um, I can't move. So she, her, Tommy and Ross were there with me, and I kind of sat there and I was like, "Wow, it's been that long." It was at the time; it had been seven years. Um, now it's eight from that time. Um, but we made the newspaper and stuff like that, undefeated season. Uh, I scored like six goals, and I was also a goalie that season. It was the first year I had I had the starting goalie position. Um, but they would pull me out against the really bad teams, and I had a hat trick in one game, which was a really big deal. We beat the team like 21 to nothing or something like that. Um, so anyway, um, I was just I kind of relived it. And, they were all laughing because I was like kind of running around the field and remembering just my finest, one of my finest moments. Um, remembering getting the gold medal put around my neck, which felt awesome because I felt like a huge success. Um, I was never good at baseball, I was never good at football, I was good at soccer though. So I kind of relived that moment um, and then we walked around. She started to get hungry. I was like, you want to go to Nifty Fifties? She's like, are you hungry? I was like, not really, but we can go. I was like, I'll just eat something light and then grab something for dinner when I get home or something. And she's like, no, we can wait until you get hungry. And I was like, all right, whatever. I was like, if that's what you want to do, um, which was stupid, me. And anyway, so we were both really thirsty, so we walked to Wawa. Of course, Tommy and Ross are broke. Never mind. Broke, never, uh, I'm not going to say what I was going to say, but, um, so we walked to Wawa, and they asked me to buy them something, I didn't buy them anything, I bought Caitlin, uh, Mountain Dew or something, like, I, I told her to get what she wanted, uh, of course she went, like, for a Mountain Dew, because she didn't want to get, like, she wanted water, but she didn't want, she doesn't like any other type of water other than Fiji, and, it, it was a mess. Um, she, she didn't want me to spend like four bucks on a bottle of Fiji water, which was like, all right, whatever. I said you can buy it, and she didn't want me to. And then I said she, I told her she could buy like a, she could grab like a snack or something like that to hold her over. So she grabbed the thing, was it like a can? It was either like a Twix bar or 
a thing of combos or something like that. I don't know where you are. Um, and she grabbed that and ate that. And then we walked back to Tommy and Ross's house. Uh, dried off. Uh, my hoodie was still pretty dry, so... She, and her jacket was soaked, so I gave it to her to walk to Nifty Fifties in. Which, by that point, was only like a half mile from Tommy and Ross's house. So I, t I gave her my hoodie to walk to Nifty Fifties in, and I, I walked up, and I think I had a long sleeve shirt on or something. So I wasn't cold. Um, but we were talking, and we kind of, like... I don't even know. I don't remember what we were talking about, but, uh, yeah, so anyway, we got to Nifty Fifties and sat, we had to wait like 10, 15 minutes or something like that, and it wasn't too bad. That's pretty average for that place. Um, and anyway, we, like I said, walked, to, got to Nifty Fifties, sat down at our table. She only ordered cheese fries, which I was actually really annoyed about, um, because I was like, can't she order like a burger or something like that? Because I knew I know how she eats. I've seen how she eats. She we ordered a pizza one night and she ate like six pieces. Um, and I had her. It was her mom and me and her. And me, it was Caitlin, my her mom and me, and we all sat around eating pizza. She had like six pieces and I had like two. So I'd seen her pig out before. It's not like it was the first time we'd eaten in front of each other. So of course I picked out because I was I was starving at this point. She I guess had already had whatever she got from Wawa. So um, I was like really got, like kind of annoyed that she that all she got was cheese fries, but it was whatever. Um, of course I paid because I'm a gentleman. Uh, I planned on paying for everything. So um, anyway, we were kind of sitting there talking for a while. Um, we both we just decided. We should walk around a little more. Uh, at this point, it had stopped raining, so we, we uh, walked over to a park. Five and, and this park was another place where I won a championship. Um, it's because I, I, I live within walking distance of a lot of the places I won my championships at. So anyway, we I relived another championship, which took me like an hour. And this was the, the championship where I started every single game in, in the playoffs. I started every single game that season in goalie. So I felt like I was really, I really had to relive that. So I told her stories for probably close to two hours about how good it felt to win that championship. Uh, and then at this point it's like 11 o'clock and I think both of our parents called us and asked if we needed rides home. And so finally we said yeah. Um, my, my mom drove us home I think, my dad maybe, I don't know. So one of my parents drove both of us home. Um... And, or no, no, her mom came to pick her up and dropped her off at her friend's house. And I walked over to Nate's house, I'm pretty sure. And I, I just told him I was in the area and I was waiting for my parents. And I told my parents to meet me at Nate's house. Um, so him and I kind of sat on his porch or something like that and talked. And I didn't tell him anything. Uh, I just told him that I was at bowl I went bowling in, to Nifty Fifties. And he's like, okay. And kind of shrugged it off because he didn't think anything of it. Um, but I was, like, really in a state of panic because I didn't do anything. Like, I thought, I felt like she was going to be pissed off because nothing happened at the, at the, uh, like, I didn't kiss her or anything, I mean. Um, and at this point, we'd been going out for, like, a month, but that's a story for another time because, yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, I would tell you guys how the relationship ended. She, if you didn't, if you weren't a subscriber from my early days, uh, High School Stories 2 was about her. Uh, she cheated on me, and we broke up shortly after, right around Christmas time, which pissed me off. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how that ended. And uh, I haven't, I've talked to her like twice since, and both times was to get my stuff back. Um, and once, we're, no, I've talked to her three times, twice to get my stuff back, and once because I saw her and I didn't want to be rude. Because I'm not a rude person, but um, anyway, guys, kind of like subscribe. There. Anyway, guys, that's the story of my first date. Uh, it was horrible. Yeah. So, uh, comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Be down in the description below. As always, guys, this has been Sick Crazy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. I believe I went 33-9 and nine in this gameplay, so it's a ver fairly good gameplay for you guys. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you.